such a productive sprint. I'm so glad I pushed through and decided to write tonight because If you're new here, my name is Becca. I'm a writer. I'm currently working on a 90s whimsigoth um, book. I still need to figure out how I want to like describe that book and also what genre it is. I think it's contemporary fiction, but I don't want to be wrong. Anyways, welcome to the video. Now, usually people love my vlogs. Thank you, I worked very hard on them. But I wanted to do something a little bit different because I've been getting asked this question a little bit more frequently and um, people are wondering how I manage to balance content creation with work, with writing, with being a wife and household responsibilities. And so um, I thought that's what this video would be, which I think is a great example because this is currently what my week looks like. Typically, my weeks do not look like this. I picked up a lot of extra shifts at work um, because I currently have the availability to do so. I thought it would be a great week to show you guys what it looks like when I'm balancing everything around work and what my days look like, how I make time to write, to edit, to beta read, to make videos. It's a balancing act, but it's actually not as complicated as you would think. And I do also want to preface this, that this schedule that I have created for myself doesn't allow time for going to the gym, mainly because my work is extremely physically demanding, like very physically active. I'm moving boxes. I'm, I'm constantly moving around doing stuff. And so I kind of use that as an excuse of like, okay, I'm getting some sort of movement in. But for today, I'm sorry, I did not start the video on a Monday because it was a bit of a rough Monday. Today's Tuesday. I work from 9 to 2 o'clock today. I am very close to the Barnes & Noble that I usually go to and I brought my backpack with all my stuff to do about two to three hours of work after work. So we're gonna do some writing, we're gonna do some beta reading for Cody's story. I have my breakfast which we're gonna go into the office and I'm just gonna eat. I'm really excited to show you guys how I balance it all. So without further ado, Let's go into work. Yesterday was really good. I did end up working for the two hours that I wanted to after work. I didn't do any writing. Instead, I decided to focus on beta reading because I want to have caught up on all of the chapters for Cody's book by next Monday, which is where we have our critique partner meeting. So I felt really good. I got about halfway through those chapters. I have another eight 
to get through and I'm just having a really fun time reading Cody's book. I think finally being able to see all of the hard work that someone has put into a project and be able to like enjoy it, it's been so much fun. And I wanted to just take a little moment before we keep going on this week to kind of talk about what I use and do to stay organized so that when I have a crazy busy week this week, I I still have a, a bit of a plan. So Monday was wild. I worked a lot Monday and um, by the end of the day, I just honestly didn't have any energy <laughs> to do anything else. So I was like, okay, we'll call it a rest day. Yesterday after work, I obviously did some work at Barnes and Noble and I kept the afternoons like purposefully like light because one thing I don't want to do is over stuff my schedule. I leave a lot of dead space in here mainly because I want to have time to like read or sit with my husband or have a meal together and like not be freaked out about the fact that I'm not doing something on my schedule that's completely arbitrary and totally up to me. But for organization, I love using Notion Calendar. As you guys may know, I use Notion for a lot of book planning stuff, but I also use it for personal planning and content planning. So the thing I love about Notion Calendar is that I can sync my Google Calendar to it, which is incredible. And then it also connects to my content database in Notion. So I use the calendar view to kind of plan out when my videos and live streams are gonna be for the month. The other reason I really love it is because in Notion, if I put a video that I want to get out on like say this Friday, I can actually click that video idea in the calendar and it opens up to a page and that's usually where I will write all of my scripts. That's how I track the video progress. If it's an, in, if it's in ideation, if the script is written, if it's filmed, if it needs to be edited, all of that and it's really really convenient for me and it's great because I can keep everything on one calendar so that's fantastic. I also use Notion as like a daily planner so if there are things that I want to get done on a day that don't necessarily have a time restraint then I'll usually just put it in there so that keeps me pretty organized. As soon as I know I have to do something it immediately goes in the calendar, calendar no matter how far away or how close it is. Um, so for today, I am actually going to go get ADHD testing done, and that's about a four hour process. I have the afternoon off, so I'm going to I have a writing session penciled in <clears throat> from two to four. The time is prime like really kind of arbitrary. I just put it in there to make sure I set aside two hours to do it. It's mainly just for me to see that like, hey, you need to dedicate like two hours to this thing. Um, I wish I could dedicate more. I really want to get to the point where I'm writing about like four hours a day when I have a day that I'm able to do that. But um, obviously because I'm getting ADHD testing, <laughs> It's um, it's kind of hard for me sometimes to focus on one thing for so long, even though I love it. So we're gonna do a writing session when we get back. We broke into act two of my story so far, which if you're not aware, um, I'm writing a very 90s Whimsigoth inspired book. I don't know if this is the spot to talk about it, but I guess I'll, I'll, I'll share a little bit about it. Whimsigoth blends kind of fairy tale and gothic elements into this very specific genre. And so when I think Whimsigoth, I think something like Practical Magic where there's murder, there's witches, but it's also set in a very idyllic town and it's kind of rooted in reality a little bit. And it's this like, juxtaposition of elements that end up working really really well and so um the book that i'm writing currently it's about a boy peter who after losing his job losing his girlfriend losing his way in life decides to move back home uh to live with his parents in connecticut in the fall in the 90s and he finds out that his childhood best friend laurel is dead and she's a ghost and he's the only person that can see her and they go off on this journey to kind of help each other I think kind of come to terms with how to proceed into the unknown how do you start over how do you 
hit rock bottom and keep going. And I really loved the idea of doing a male main character who has no sense of what he's doing and has to rely on a female main character or a female, a woman's perspective on life and all of that to kind of help him navigate that. And I love my book, it's so great. I, I It's very character driven, obviously, and there's not quite as much plot and I'm really finding that I'm enjoying exploring the dynamics between characters and how that influences the story and moves it along. But I've been talking for seven minutes. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and um, cap it here and I will check in with you guys. It's a few hours later. It's about 3.30ish. Um, I came home infinitely more exhausted from that um, four hour testing <laughs> than I thought I was gonna be, which is stupid because it's a four hour test. Like I should have, I should have known I was gonna get really tired, but um, we're still going to read and write today. This is why I gave myself um, a buffer block in between testing and reading and writing. So I am leaving, I, brought, I put my um, laptop back on the charger because it wasn't charging this whole time. So I'm leaving that to charge. I'm gonna read for about an hour. I am reading The Fellowship of the Ring and I am really enjoying it. I'm one of those people that like, I can still read the book and find it enjoyable even though I've already seen the movies because I love getting like more information of, like there's like supplementary knowledge that you don't get sometimes in the movies and so I I'm gonna be reading this for about an hour um, and then once that's done I will go grab my computer and we will write outside I've been having a really fun time writing outside and just getting fresh air it's finally starting to cool off it's cold enough for me to wear a freaking hoodie zip up so that is what we we're gonna do I had blocked off two hours for a writing session um, but honestly as long as I get about 600 to a thousand words um, which I've been doing pretty much in like a, about an hour uh, I'll be I'll be really happy I'll be kind of ahead of where I need to be want to be because I'm trying to finish this draft before the end of the year um, and like I have mentioned my mom is coming for a week at the end of this month and I'm not writing at all that week um, good day so far actually the morning was really hectic I took one wrong turn on my way because this office was like 40 minutes away closer to the city um, I was driving I was taking roads that I was not used to and I took one wrong turn and I went from getting there 15 minutes early to getting there 20 minutes late for my appointment, which is just not ideal. So I'm gonna relax, decompress, read my book, write, and have a very productive afternoon doing creative things. I will check in with you guys later. It's 7.30. <laughs>
and I haven't written a single thing. I was meant, I left my laptop charging. I finished reading. I read for like 45 minutes. I grabbed my laptop to go right outside. And then my husband comes out and we start talking. I went and got dinner. I've been sitting here at the computer just pissing around, honestly. Here's the thing, I want to write. And this is a matter of discipline because if I don't write right now, all I'm gonna do is sit on my phone. All I'm gonna do is sit on my phone and I don't wanna do that. So I need to write around 600 words, I just need to. So I am going to practice some self-discipline here and push through. Normally, the last two days I've kind of listened to my body and I've been like, okay, I'm gonna take a step back from writing. I'm just gonna rest for a little bit. Because if I'm being completely honest, working these weird ass hours, filming content, writing a book is a lot. It's a lot of brain power that goes into it. I'm just going to try and take a deep breath reconnect with my story. I feel really good about it. I like where we're going. I'm getting to write the fun scenes between Peter and Laurel. And we're starting on this journey of like Peter's self-discovery. So it's exciting. We're in a good spot. I just, I, I'm like tired. <laughs> Today was especially like draining. I, I will give myself that. I, but we will get some words in. such a productive sprint. I'm so glad I pushed through and decided to write tonight because I was so not sure of where I wanted to take this chapter. I knew what I had to do. I knew what I needed to accomplish, but I didn't know how, how I was going to get there. It's weird sometimes when you're writing a scene and you know how it's supposed to play out. But sometimes getting the characters to do the things that you want them to do doesn't always work with the kind of people that they actually are. But because I have a pretty clear understanding of like Laurel and Peter, I feel like this ended up flowing really naturally. I got to start the beginning of the chapter with this really fun flashback scene of them when they were kids on the last day of elementary school and it's really like the last day they spoke before she had to go away on a family trip and everything changed between them. Then this scene that I was working on right now, it's after he's figured out that she's dead and they strike the deal to kind of help Peter figure out who he is and what he wants and how he's gonna move forward. It's just a very sweet scene of like how she extends the olive branch to like get him to start opening up and it's just it's so ooh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but like it's so exciting sometimes when you're writing a piece that's very character driven it can feel a little slow it can feel a little stale it can feel a little bit like okay what's the point I feel very confident in the way that I'm going about this right now that it's everything has a purpose and the characters are really shining and I'm just I'm really proud of this. I was working through this chapter. I was thinking about what I wanna do for videos this week. I had a video scheduled to film tomorrow that I don't know if I wanna do anymore. And if I don't like a video, I'm just not gonna do it. So anyway, it's a problem for like future me. So good day. <laughs> I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, it's Thursday, Thursday morning, it's 10 o'clock. I've been up for a while, since like six, on and off. I went ahead and edited this video that you're watching. I also played around with the videos that I wanna upload for this month because this video wasn't even supposed to go up until 
the 26th and I don't think I'm doing that. I wanted to, f I was supposed to film a video this morning, like I said last night. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having a real complex with like my sit down craft videos. I used to be pretty good about like not listening to the voice in my head that said, you're not qualified to talk about that. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, you know, things are worse than others, but that just means this one gets published this week. I have a content creation video that is going up next week that you guys have asked me for, which I'm so sorry it's taking me so long to do it. I wanted to do something very thorough for y'all so you could see like how I put my videos together, how I edit, where I get my like resources from, all of that. I'm putting it all in one video, one very nice video for you guys. <laughs> so that'll be up the 19th and then I think I'm going to try and film the swapping my screen time for writing time and that'll be the video for the 26th. I also realized I have a Thursday wide open on the 24th and I kind of just decided that I'm going to do a write-a-thon that day where I will literally, my goal is to write for eight hours. That's where my head's at. I spent the morning kind of thinking through like content and like all of the other stuff that I have to do. I also wrote down a couple goals that I wanted to accomplish this month for myself and I'm gonna show you. So this is one of the other things that I use to keep myself organized. My Notion calendar, I keep up to date all the time because that's what I check whenever I'm like double checking my work schedule or like when, what content things I need to get done where, personal obligations, stuff like that. But I also have a like physical monthly planner here on my whiteboard because if I don't see it all the time, I will forget that I have things. So I have, it's and it's nice because it lets me visualize exactly how much time I have left to get everything done because the last week of October is just a no-go. But my goals for this month, I want to get about 25,000 words into Project Eden. I'm at 1,100, 800, 11,888 words is where I'm at right now for the project. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I want to, I need to finish beta reading Cody's book, like the entire book. I'm almost done with the first half and then I'm going to get the second half a little later. And then I want to meal prep an entire week. I want to go an entire week without eating out. I have a few hours before work. I go into work from three to eight today. So my goal is to write at least two hours. If I could hit three hours, that would be amazing. My goal is about 1500 words. I would be happy with a thousand. I would be ecstatic with 1500. And anything after that is obviously a win. My writing objectives for today, I'm gonna finish up chapter five. Chapter five is around, it's 1800 words. I think it'll probably get to about 2200 words by the time I'm like done with everything. I feel kind of, not. I don't know if bad is the right word, but Obviously, I have a lot of writer friends here on YouTube, and I feel like we all started drafting our books around the same time, like when I started, when I was working on Project Fire. I feel a little bit like a kid that skipped class because everyone I know is going through revision. Andy's going through revisions. Alyssa's going through revisions. Cody's going through revisions. Brielle's going through revisions. It just feels like everyone is in revision hell. <laughs> And I'm over here having fun writing my cozy little introspective book. I don't know. I just, I'm, I, I feel for everyone going through the revision trenches. That will be me at the beginning of this year, more than likely. But I'm kind of happy that I'm spending the Burr months drafting and not revising. I just feel like the vibes are immaculate, especially for this book. So... Oh 
it is Saturday. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually filmed my outro and everything for this video yesterday and I didn't realize I recorded it in slow motion because I'm using my phone. I, I usually have my vlogs done like two days before they're supposed to go live and this one I'm literally still recording the day of. So I was supposed to write yesterday after work and I didn't. Mostly because I got out at a reasonable time and I was just so exhausted. I'd been up since like 5.30. I'm still trying to find the right balance between knowing when to push myself and knowing when to listen to my body. And I hope that this video kind of demonstrated that I think that's just the natural part, like a natural part of being someone that has multiple creative interests or just like hobbies in general. I was watching the footage back and I was like, I only wrote like twice this week in earnest. I did do a beta reading session. I wrote twice. Both of those times I had really good sessions. And I think, I think that's why I'm glad I've been listening to myself and my body and my needs a little bit more because I'm glad that instead of having like maybe four or five so-so writing sessions where I really forced myself to, to do it and like I wasn't really happy with the writing. I had two really good writing sessions where I felt really confident about the words that I managed to get on the page. And more than anything, what I wanted this video to be was, yeah, I wanted to share my like insights and how I organize myself and tips for making time for these creative interests like writing and, and filming and things like that um, but that it's also okay to shuffle things around and not do things because life does not adhere to any sort of schedule i don't think it's fair to ourselves to beat ourselves up if we don't do every single thing on our to-do list or every single thing on our calendar and you know, the my my biggest goal and the thing that I hope translates the most in my videos and the things the thing that I want you guys to take away is that my way is not perfect. It's just the way that I've managed to find to make writing and content creation sustainable for me. So if this doesn't work for you, I hope it encourages you to find something else. Find a system and a routine that does work for you. I love writing. I love making videos. I want to do it for a long time. And so I need I need to be able to find a way to make that sustainable for me. And I think this week was a really good, like, I think, snapshot of how I do that when I'm tired because my job is physically exhausting and mentally taxing sometimes as well. But... Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Sometimes I feel like I'm all over the place, but I do my best to, I just do my best. <laughs> if you made it all the way to the end of the video, comment a pumpkin pie emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here um, and you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, um, please uh, consider subscribing. I upload new videos every Saturday at 10 a.m. or at least I try to. If there's any videos you'd like to see from me in the future, uh, please leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to get to them. But in the meantime, have an amazing day. You're doing amazing. Happy writing. I'll see you in the next one. Strolling, far from home and horizon looking like